Hello artists, today we are going to be creating J is for jellyfish watercolor resist painting. With your Sharpie, this time I would like you to unsnap the cap and put it on the back. Everyone please monkey see. For your letter J today, your watercolor paper is nice and tall, which is vertical. We're gonna find the very center of the paper, which is right here, and draw a nice, long, big J. But instead of making a straight line at the top for our J, what I would like you to do instead is make a wavy line and a little bit longer than what you would for a J. So it goes almost all the way to the left, almost all the way to the right. Monkey do. The next step for your jellyfish, you're gonna take that squiggly line that you drew for the top of your J and make a big round upside down U that connects all the way to the other side. It almost touches the top of the paper and it kind of makes it look like an umbrella now. Monkey do. Monkey see. We're gonna draw another squiggle line at the bottom. You're gonna touch your marker right here. Squiggle all the way over till you touch this side again. Monkey do. Monkey see. The next step, we're gonna add a little bit of detail to the top of our jellyfish. And so you're gonna do one frown face, two frown face, and then a straight line right in the middle. Monkey do. Monkey see. Wherever there's a little bump, I want you to do a smile face. There's a bump there, smile face. Smile face, smile, smile smile, smile. That's gonna add a little bit of ripple to the bottom of your jellyfish. Monkey do. Monkey see. On the left side of this middle line that we drew, we're gonna make one, two, three lines. But as you look at them, they're not perfectly straight. They curve just a little bit and they go small, medium, large. They get a little bit taller as you draw them. Monkey do, draw your three lines. Monkey see. We're gonna repeat the same thing on this side, on the right side. So small, medium, large, and make sure you curve as you draw. Monkey do. Monkey see. We have our large J right here. We're gonna make some smaller J's over to the left hand side. And so when you do this, I want you to touch that first squiggle that we made. We're gonna to touch the first squiggle hook. See how it's smaller than my first one. We're gonna to touch the squiggle hook and now that one's even smaller. Monkey do, draw your medium and your small letter J. Monkey see. We're gonna do the same thing on this side, but it's gonna feel kind of funny because we're gonna make our J's backwards. We're gonna take the line and hook it the wrong way. We're gonna take a line and hook it the wrong way. Again, it goes medium and small. Monkey do. Monkey see. Those are, those J's that we made are part of the tentacles of the jellyfish. A lot of their tentacles are usually wavy, so we're gonna add a little bit of those right now. When you draw them towards the big J, you want them to be longer, so watch what I do. That little curved line, we're gonna touch it and wiggle almost as long as we made the J. We're gonna do it again. Touch the line, wiggle, but this time it gets just a little bit shorter. 
Look between these two J's. I'm gonna touch and go wiggle, but it's shorter than this J. Wiggle, and it's about the same as that J. Last ones are over here. Wiggle and wiggle. Look how teeny tiny that last one is. So I drew two between these J's, two between these J's, and two at the end. They get shorter and shorter as you draw them. Monkey do. Monkey see. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So touching that first line that we made, we're gonna wiggle down. We put two between these two J's. We put two between these two J's and we put two very small ones on the other side of the J. They get shorter and shorter as they go up. Monkey do. Monkey see. Now we're going to take our Sharpie and in the lower left hand corner, I want you to please put your name nice and neat. And on the lower right hand corner, I need you to write your class. Monkey do. Monkey see. <clears throat> the last thing we're gonna add with our Sharpies today is a little bit of background for our jellyfish. They're usually, of course, in the ocean. So we're gonna draw some silhouettes. Silhouettes are just blackened in figures. We're gonna draw some silhouettes of fish. Here's how it works. You draw a frown face. You draw a smile face. You connect the back and then you color it in. Let me show you again. So a silhouette is a blackened in figure, which means you can't see things like the eye and the mouth and the uh, fins and the gills. It's just a blackened in figure. And the reason it looks that way is because it's so far away that you can't see the details. So again, frown, smile, connect, color. Frown, smile, connect, Color. And the reason I put three together right there is because fish usually travel together in what they call schools. We're gonna draw two more up here. Frown, smile, connect the tail, color it in. Maybe a little bit smaller of one. Notice my fish are really small because they're in the distance, so they shouldn't be very big at all. Very teeny tiny. Brown smile. This time to add a little bit more interest, I'm gonna make that fish swim that way and I'm gonna make the one traveling with it swim the opposite direction. So just by doing little things like that in your art, you can make it more interesting. Okay, so I drew three at the bottom, two at the top, two at this bottom. Go ahead and monkey do. When you're done, snap your cap and give it a nap. For the next step of our J is for jellyfish, watercolor resist, we're gonna be using some crayons. When you choose your colors, we want the jellyfish to be bright and bold, so you're gonna pick really bright colors. Um, I want you to stay away from black and gray and brown, but pretty much every other color you can use. I wanna make my jellyfish orange today. When I do this, what I want you to do is only shade along the lines. Remember, coloring is when you color the whole thing in. When we shade, we're just working along the lines. You wanna make a nice thick line though, so I'm not just tracing one line like that. I'm kind of coloring back and forth, back and forth, and making a nice thick line right along the Sharpie lines that I did. Now, this color is only going to be used for the edge of the jellyfish. I'm not gonna do all of the details. I'm just gonna do the edge 
just like this. Now that I've done the outside edge of my jellyfish, underneath my jellyfish, and all of my J's, it's time to switch colors. For the next part of all the detail work, I want you to only pick four colors. And I chose ones that are really bright uh, because I want my jellyfish to look almost like he's glowing, like he's neon. So if you want them to look kind of neon, uh, make sure you choose the lighter colors. What you're going to do at this point is choose only one of them. So my other three are resting on the table and there are some specific spots I want you to put this color. At the top of your jellyfish on those two lines and also on all of the smile faces that we made down here at the bottom of the jellyfish body. Nice thick lines, color ooh la la, nice and dark. And now you're done with that color. Okay. The next color that you're going to choose, you're going to also put those in specific spots. Then I want you to do the two lines next to the middle one with another color. And I'm going to finish off the last line with my pink. And this time I'm going to color on both sides of the line. Using those same four colors, I would like you to create a pattern. So I'm going to start, it doesn't matter which one you start with, I'm going to start with green. But I'm going to go green, yellow, pink, orange. So to repeat that pattern, I have to start with the same color again. The final step that we're going to use for your crayons is to lightly color in the body of the jellyfish. So we're not going to press nearly as hard as we did on the lines, very lightly and very gently. And the color that I'm going to choose for this is the same color that I did uh, when I did the outlining. So mine was that orange color, that reddish orange. Look how lightly I'm coloring. You can go right over everything. It won't hurt anything. So light, and I'm going to color the whole body of the jellyfish. I even colored underneath where the shaded part is. I colored the whole body of the jellyfish, ooh la la, nice and lightly. You can put all of your crayons back in your toolbox.